Morgan's loud. Well, if Morgan's in a room, you're gonna know it. <laughs> One of the hardest swings that I've ever seen. Coach Fagler says nipples on the ball because I'll pull off, so she'll just look at me and go like this at third base. That's actually physical. That's when she's over swinging. I'm like, you gotta keep your nipples on contact. <laughs> We're good. She's just been constant all year. From a small, small town, Iowa, it's really tiny. There's a church, a few bars, and a KC. Joe Yagi, who was the head coach at Kirkwood Community College, has sent us a number of really good players, and he just thought she'd be a good fit. He was right. An incredible human, really. She's planning on going pre-med, and she's going to finish here take a semester off and then go to medical school. Sometimes I'm like, every day I'm like, why did I do this to myself? Like, you idiot, you should have told something. Not this. <laughs> I don't think that she truly knows how good of like, both a person and an athlete she is. I think that she doubts that a lot. For me being the way I am, being a perfectionist, it was something that, it's something I've struggled with a lot. There's panic. There's anxiety. I've never, I've never, never met somebody with that level of anxiety that they had to deal with on a daily basis. I think all of these years, she's been able to basically outwork the issues that are going on upstairs. And last year I struggled, I struggled a lot. And then this year there was just kind of a come to Jesus moment with Coach Bagley. We were playing in a fall game. Uh, just and we were beating the team we were playing pretty handedly. Morgan was having a good offensive day. She was on base. She got all the way to third, and I guess Morgan, are you all right? And I mean, the tears just <sighs> on third base in the middle of the game. And of course, I got mad. You know, and I was like, "What are you upset about?" My instant reaction was tears. And to a lot of people, that looks weak, and I hate it. I don't like being emotional. And she finally, she's like, Coach, I need help. She's like, I'm so tired of myself. I'm tired of doing this. I know that it isn't rational how I react to things. I know it, but I can't help it. And I need help. The thing that I'm more concerned about than anything is you going to medical school and you just imploding. Because if we don't figure this out, this is gonna be a problem for you the rest of your life. It just so happens that with the Aussies spending the summer here, uh, I formed a really good relationship with, with Dee Anderson, who was the sports psychologist for the Aussies. And she met with those players every day. I reached out to Dee, really a fantastic woman, said, hey, let's set up a video chat and let's talk. We just did FaceTime sessions. And honestly, like all she did was teach me things that I'd probably been told my whole life, put them into play. And for her to be able to do that was honestly, it's been life changing. This is something a lot of athletes deal with. And now she has tools. I'm really grateful that uh, I had that experience with the Aussies because it fed into what has now been this outstanding year for Morgan. For me, I think the biggest thing was the fact that Coach Bagley cared enough. I don't think there's enough words to say thank you for her. For me to be able to end my career at a place like this with people like this, I really couldn't have asked for anything else. <laughs>